Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to Bulwark Falconeer Chronicles, a city builder with a difference that's been developed by a solo developer. So we start off in this really cool world where like there's just mountains and so I mean, to me, it looks sort of efficiently shaped, this first little island. Is that just me? That might just be me. This is our little outpost, like our, our sort of base of operations, and we need to connect this to various things to get like resources. So down here, we have a wood mill. And so if we draw a connection from our outpost to this wood mill, so we get this nice blue line and then we press space, we build a nice path. And if you look closely, this is where our sort of city starts being built from. So houses and stuff will automatically be built all along these paths. So the idea is to build as many sort of little routes and stuff as you can. So anyway, we have our wood mill down here now and workers will be able to carry wood from here back up to our outpost. And if we press control, we can actually see like the wood, the wood flow. So you can see we're making four wood there. You can see there's a little node going along that way. That's the wood being carried back to the free house. You can see we have three workers in here. So we are making wood. But if you look down in this bottom, there's also stone and iron to find at some point. Uh, for now, though, let's try and get a few more workers so we can make a bit more wood. And we do that, of course, by building more. So let's build over to there. So I just built a little tower down that way. If we can build another one over there. And then if I link that back to our base. So now you can see we have two routes. We're now making five wood instead. Yeah, and hopefully as we build more houses and stuff, we should get an increase in the number of workers as well. So if we just keep building, I might build like over there on top of that. So if we go from above, you can see we're going to be building over this like huge fungus stuff. Oh, I've just been told I can't build over the fungi. Okay, fair enough. But okay, as night settles, you can see we've made quite a bit of progress here. All we've really done is drawn lines. All these buildings have gone in automatically and it looks wicked. Like, they look down there. There's like a little crane there. Everyone's got their lights on and stuff. There's like windmills. This is really cool. And um, by the way, since I've added like so many different routes, we're now up to plus eight on the old wood. And with all those extra houses, we now have plus four workers. So things are looking good, but I think it's time to go get some additional resource. So up over this way, there's a stone quarry. Oh, look at the truss work on top of that. Okay, we got to get over to this crane. So if we go from our wood mill like up to that rock and then go from there maybe up to this hill oh the sun's finally rising i hate i hate night times in video games <laughs> i can't see anything oh look at the bridge look at that bridge oh, it's got like a weird sort of roofy thing going on i don't know if that's structure on top but yeah then we'll go from here over to the actual quarry itself all right and now we have stone we can actually upgrade everything we've got so all of our buildings all of our walkways and bridges we can make them stone bridges so that's why i haven't done a bridge review yet I just want to make sure this is the best bridge it can be. And actually, that might not be the bridge I review. You don't always have to review your first bridge that you see in a day. You should always save your review for like the best possible bridge you can see. By the way, look at the light in this place. This place is rude. This game's really good looking. All right, anyway, if we go back over there and then press space again, we upgrade it with... I was going to say with stone. Is that what we did? <laughs> Now, I think we may need to upgrade the towers first. So if we upgrade that, yes, that's now stone. Right, so we can also upgrade our, our outpost, if you remember. So if we click on that and then upgrade that to stone, we now have a stone outpost. And that is like quite precariously perched. Like, look at the foundation at the bottom, like sort of hanging over the edge. Now, anyway, now we can we can actually add foundations. So can you see like we've got like this little square icon when we hang off this node? So when it's square, if we were to do that, look right down the bottom. We've just built that little foundation down there. So if we build several of these, then look down here, we have some new land and therefore new houses going up. Lovely jubbly. Oh, you know what that is? That's a fish nado. Fishnado t-shirt not even coming soon. There is a Fishnado t-shirt on realcivilengineer.com. Check it out now. Anyway, we'll have a little look at how things are getting on. So we've got five workers. We're making some decent wood. We could be making better stone. I think because we only have like one one route. So from the quarry, if we like, yeah, if we like go over that way. Oh, look at that bridge. It's like a hydraulic bridge, like a draw bridge. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. This is so cool. All right, let's build a foundation there. Oh, look at that. Look at the size of it. And then on top, we can build a tower. 
And then from that, can we come over to our to our quarry? Is that going to be... Oh, I built a little bridge down there. I thought it was going to be a big one on top. I wonder, they can I add an extra tower like there and then connect those up? All right, yeah, so now the quarry's making six. I think it was making three before. Woodmill making ten. Looking at these bars, they're pretty filled up, aside from the workers. Uh, so I guess just more connections, because that means more houses. All right, so down here. Can I get a bridge, like, through that gap? Like, if we build a tower, like, there. Oh, yeah, look, a bridge over a bridge. That's what I'm talking about. All right, anyway, I'm just going to build over this way. I love that, like, you can just, like, build wherever you want to build. All right, so we've gone to town. We've literally turned this place into, like, Bridgetopia. Love to see that. But uh, now it's time to, to try and find some iron so we can keep improving. Now, you may have noticed up there, we've got a little... We got this little airship floating around. Now, with this, we can go explore the map. If we press M, this place is absolutely huge. Damn! So there's all of these islands to go explore. Like, look how look how long it goes on for. So we can go explore like all of these areas. Um, and if we zoom in a bit, you can see this is like where we've built our our sort of base. And over on these islands, there's there's iron about. So I'm just going to press space on there and then our little guy will fly there automatically. You can control this yourself, but it's, it's just a bit easier if you just use the map. So if we now build down here, then look, we've, we're dropping. <laughs> we dropped all the resources we need to build this huge structure. Nice one. <laughs> yeah, but now we have the capability to mine some iron. The trouble is, how do we get it back to our base over there? Now, I would love to build a bridge that long, but that's very long. We've seen how rough the sea gets around here. So what we're going to have to do is build a harbor instead. So if we build harbor like that. Now, just quickly, before we actually build the harbor, check out, like, we've got, like, bucket scoops on the front. You can see, like, they're going to they're gonna spin around. This is like a huge, like, it's like a vertical dredge. Whoa. <laughs> All right, so we're building our harbor down there. Uh, we can assign a captain to this. And basically, each of these three slots, they carry different materials. So the one I've selected carries iron, but these guys, they carry wood. Yeah, and obviously, there's no there's no wood over here. It's an iron mine. So we now have the harbor in place. And then if we head back over to our main base by our outpost, we can build a harbor down here. And now you can see over there, the ship from the iron mine is sailing over to here, which means we now have iron. You can see our little trade route there when we turn everything on. Nice. Man, by the way, look at all the connections going on. <laughs> it's crazy. Anyway, since we now have iron, we can upgrade our outpost into a citadel. Yeah, and with that, we can then upgrade some of these other towers. So like this one, let's upgrade that. So that's now the stone one that we saw before. It looks like a it looks like a chess piece, doesn't it? But if we upgrade that again into a tall boy, and then and then again, it's now a command tower. Uh, and we can add more floors. What are we doing to this place? So yeah, just keep upgrading, basically. Right, and with this, we now have the capacity to build, like, at different floor levels. We can literally choose what floor we want to build on. So, so if we try and build, like, from up above, look. We've just built some, like, houses on the side. We can, we can go to that point, build, like, a huge balcony sort of thing. In fact, if we build out that way... Oh, we've built a proper bridge! Okay, so now we're going to upgrade some of our other towers into the command towers. So basically, we can keep adding floors, but we get to a point where we can't actually build any taller without adding some foundations. So if we go down to the bottom, we can then start building some foundations around. And with like a wider foundation, it means we can build taller. So yeah, we'll keep building up. That's quite a tall boy now. I might go make this one a bit bigger as well. So we'll keep building a load of foundations around this one. And then hopefully that means we can keep building up a bit more. Yes, we can. All right, it did mean we lost our bridge over there. But look, I'm thinking brand new bridge between these two. Boosh. Oh my goodness. We got a suspension bridge. Oh, I'd love to see it. Anyway, now this is a command tower, a proper one with a bridge. We can add a commander. So we'll assign you in there. So with these command towers, they will help us defend because this isn't just like a nice place to live. There are going to be enemies, but there's also going to be alliances as well. And of course, we need to head to our map and go explore. So I think over there, the smelly log floats. What the? <laughs> that's horrible. But I think that's probably another sort of colony. Um, oh, and also like north of us, there's that. Is that like an unidentified boat? Let's go have a look. So where's that? Oh yeah, down here, down here. 
So let's investigate that. Ah, oh, so someone has seen our bridge and they want to join us. So we can gain transport vessel, some workers, and increases free house alignment. So that's a captain we can hire, basically. Uh, sure, welcome aboard. Uh, so now I guess we have we have three captains. We got the one doing the harbor from the iron mine over there. But if we go explore, we know we've got the the wooden area down there. So let's head over to that. So where is that? Over this direction. So oh yeah. So I think the fungi is that is the wood, isn't it? Oh, I have no available resource extractors. Okay, how do I build those? I'm gonna imagine I just need to upgrade this, right? Or perhaps I should just keep building and upgrading a little bit. Yeah, let's build this up. Get a bridge over to there. Oh, yes. Look at, oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, this place is just bridges upon bridges. All right, so I've just been building this up a little bit. We've, <laughs> we've added loads of bridges, which I love. I like that there's all like different types of bridges as well. Like we got some cable stayed ones. We got the big suspension-y looking ones. Now, down here, we've even got like a, like a sort of towered arch one. Look at that. So many bridges, but I think it's time to go explore a bit. So on the horizon, we got a question mark. Oh, it looks like there's another ship down there. Oh, so we've got a fighting vessel. So yeah, you can join us. I'm happy with that. So they'll defend our trade routes, which is good. Over that way, there's another question mark. So let's head up over there. It's sort of quite, it's quite misty over here. Okay, so I think we just made a deal with a guy that can upgrade our houses. So that should be good. He can give us heating, apparently. All right, so look at the light on this place. I've just... <laughs> I've just been growing it like I've just been trying to add as many bridges as I can. And with the with the light coming down, it really looks beautiful. How do I get a resource extractor game? All right, I guess we have to go gain them somehow. Maybe we can like go explore like these question marks. Or maybe we can go over to the smelly log floaters. <laughs> so we'll leave our island. We'll head over to the question mark first. Oh, goodbye, beautiful bridge city. Oh, hello, question mark. What is that? It's just a tower in the middle of nowhere. Oh, it's another commander. Yeah, sure. We <laughs> we just accept any and everyone. All right, off to the smelly log floaters, which are over this way. Now, you can see the birds flying around me. I think they're sort of my defense. So should these guys attack me? I'm just I'm just scouting out. I'm just seeing what's going on. It's a resource colony. So, ooh, have they got dragons? I see dragons above me. Okay, maybe I shouldn't. I was thinking about maybe I should take this by force. Yeah, right. So the smelly log floaters have this resource colony. So we can either declare war on them or we can establish a trade with them. I don't think I want to trade with the smelly log floaters. So I'm going to declare war on them. <laughs> Ten seconds later. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this may have been a mistake. All right, run away. Oh, no. Oh, it sank. No, they destroyed it. So yeah, declaring war sort of backfired. I won't lie. But, uh, you can see our falcons ahead of us heading back over. Right, man, they got dragon. Dragons are like way more impressive than falcons. I'm sorry. I'm not sure we stand much of a chance here. Although, are we winning? Yes, we won. Go falcon. That falcon's on fire. <laughs> Go into the sea. Put yourself out, mate. Now we can demand they surrender this settlement. So this is now ours. So they'll probably come attack this, but uh, this is this is now ours. Now, the thing is, I have no commanders at the moment, so I can't actually take this area over. So let's head down down to that. Hopefully, there's a commander waiting to join us. All right, yeah, it's a tower. All right, so we can demolish this building, and basically, it, uh, it gives us a unique building. So this is like a defensive sort of base now. So if we build like a harbor there, so I've assigned an officer, so he should defend this area now, and we've got this tower... So that's pretty good considering we're now at war. But yeah, let's shove a harbor here. And then we can assign the captains that do wood. Okay. Oh no, look, our base is under attack. There's a big old ship coming. Oh no, oh, I should not have started war on these guys. <laughs> look at their warships. They're insane. Why did I start war on them? Although, come on, we're, we, yeah, we're taking one down. Can we take the other one down? Just keep moving. Then it can't shoot us. All right. So another victory. The bridge, the bridge topia is still alive. Now, by the way, check out, check out all the connections. Yes. This place is mad. Yeah, right. There is a ship trying to attack us. Man, I really hope we don't lose any bridges in this. Come on, take them down. Take them down. How have they got like such good stuff? Like, I've just got like little birds helping me. They've got like full on like warships. How am I still winning? <laughs> Oh, nice. That ship is sunk. All right, so now we've got loads more resources. We've sort of made the the water safe. That means we can keep building, keep adding bridges. I like that you can literally just, like, keep on building and, like, everything grows, like, exponentially. Like, this really hasn't taken that long, and it's very, very impressive looking. 
Although we are missing a bridge between those two. Yeah, that's better. That's better. But yeah, huge map to explore. Uh, and a game made by a single dev. So well done you. Um, and I guess we'll say peace, love. And a whole load of bridges. And I didn't review one of them. What's happened to me? Bye, guys.